everybody, Splint here. Welcome to Splint React. If you are a returning subscriber, then guys, welcome back. Also, there's a lot of newbies here that have come to the channel recently, so if that's you, then welcome. <sighs> guys, I'm filming this really early in the morning because I've got a busy day ahead of me, but there's a lot of birds out, so I'm sorry if you can hear them. Um, I'll do what I can to remove that for you guys in editing. So I think in the last couple episodes, I did say that this season so far is not my favorite. It's been a good season so far, I think. It just hasn't been the best. So I'm still enjoying it. The episodes are still good. The writing, somebody has pointed out in the comments that the writers kind of done JD dirt, dirty in the last couple episodes for this season. And I would tend to agree with that. Um, I think for both JD and Elliot, I also think that that has a lot to do with where JD is in his life. I think sometimes his immaturity gets a little bit tiring. So I think what, how this is gonna play out, like for the rest of the season pretty much, is probably going to be JD, I think being the last to kind of really grow up in a sense. And I, I think that that's totally fine. Sometimes it just takes longer for different people to get to a certain point. But I see everyone else maturing around him. And then I think that he'll kind of have a realization somewhere, if that makes sense, along the way. Somewhere he'll kind of realize that everyone's ahead of him. It's not, it's not a bad thing, but I just think that's where his character is going. I don't think that Turk is all that better when it comes to that kind of maturity because Ch Turk is still very playful and childish as well. And that's not, like I said, but guys, not a bad thing. I just think Turk might be moving further, faster. Also guys, in the last Scrubs video description, I think that I asked for um, some suggestions as to what shows you guys might like to possibly see on the channel once Scrubs is finished. I say this now because we're halfway through this show essentially and i just want to make sure that whatever you guys suggest if i decide on something that's in there that i have access to it in my country and whether or not it's going to be able to work in with the schedule with the boobies and the other shows that are coming up thank you guys so much for sharing the love on these videos and commenting all of your lovely comments it warms my heart when i see positive vibes come through to this channel not just for me but videos and comments that are directed to Kel and Trent and the family members that have jumped in on a couple of the recent videos so thank you so much. This episode is season 17, season 17, season 4, episode 17 and it's called My Life in Four Cameras so I'm wondering if it's going, going to only be shot on four cameras, I don't know maybe it's just like a play on words or something but we'll I don't stop talking. I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> Let's get into this episode. Oh no, these headphones are gonna smush my hair down. Maybe I can. Oh god, how am I gonna? This is gonna be a look. Things were amazing with Kylie. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I needed answers to some questions that were very important to me. Name three spin-offs of the sitcom Happy Days. No idea. Laverne and Shirley and Joni loves Chachi. You marry her. You marry her now, you marry her! Carlin never joins us on Sanford and Son night, or Cheers night. I think it was because she was feeling a little romantically competitive with Kylie and me. Oh, okay. Oh. Gross. Quiet down now. It is time to watch the show. Yes, it started. Don't be licking me no more, man. <laughs> Carla certainly tried to be as adorable as us. Oh. Oh, darn it, you won. Unfortunately, Turk wasn't on the same wavelength. <laughs> Do you see what you get when you mess with the warrior? My God. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh my God. Nope. Holly's in class all day and she bartends at night and I'm still pulling 16 hour shifts, so. We try to make sure we kiss at least once a day. If you're a big meat eater, be careful. Uh, uh. Every time the media reports on some weird health crisis, everyone who sees it <laughs> thinks they have it. Up. 
casting calls, just like we need a mob for Scrubs season four, episode seventeen. Did you shut up? Hmm. Now who's first? Of course, there's always one positive when something like this happens. <laughs> Dr. Cox, we're having a bit of a crisis here. I see that. It seems you two have worn the same outfit. <laughs> if it's uh, any consolation, it looks slightly better on you. No, I'm talking about... A... <laughs> Thank you. Sure. <laughs> I've been involved in every ridiculous TV-induced panic there is. Poison pills, SARS, West Nile, North Face, South Fork, East River, Monkey Pox, Pop Rock... Narrow it down to two symptoms, vomiting and diarrhea, because it's just not E. coli unless it's firing out both exits. Mr. Bernstein, do you have vomiting and diarrhea? No. 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 Wait a second, Charles James? If somebody consults you like this in an American hospital, do you have to pay for it? A writer? Yeah, that's me. Uh, Elliot, I need to take this gentleman upstairs for some more, uh, tests. Daddy, don't leave me here. No! Yeah, I get it. Whoa! What are you doing? No tongue before ten. Baby. <laughs> Time for that stupid appointment kiss once a day. We should be able to do it twice a day. Love is not a competition. Okay. Make it three times. If there is one thing I have learned, it's that you can't schedule love. I think your credit card statement would beg to differ. <laughs> For budgetary reasons, we are turning the bathrooms on even number floors into patients' rooms. Are you just gonna roll over like that? That's weird, I asked him the same thing last night. Where's the outrage, the anger, the hate? Again, last night. You <laughs> oh <my God. gasps> Okay, now it's getting spooky. Look, you're the only- <laughs> Allow me to present, man not caring. Okay, Jordan, a little help. If you don't do what she wants, I'm going to stop having sex with you and start making love of you. Where is that bastard? Elsa! <laughs> Excuse me, JD. <clears throat> I just spent the last three hours interviewing 212 hypochondriacs, half of whom don't speak any English. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is to mind diarrhea? <laughs> oh my god, no. Baby. <laughs> no! Oh my god! Right here. That's where I'm on it. I'm on it right there. Where have you been? I was up at the nurse's station. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> oh my god, this is whole episode just like case of mistake Sorry, identity. Match? What do you want, Perry? Bob, enough of the stinking budget cuts. I have to fire someone. Oh, baloney, old man. I have to cut $27,000 from the cafeteria budget. Oh, oh. That's a lot of money. Now I got your little budget reports. You don't know who to fire, do you? Fine. Keep them. You do it. Watch and learn. I'll do it, and I'll do it. Oh, this is going to be a good storyline for Dr. Cox, I reckon. really studying it. I have to fire someone. I can't believe you left me all alone for a stupid TV writer. What do you want me to do? I want you to go in there and tell Mr. James that there's absolutely no reason for him to be up here. <coughs> <coughs> How long have you had that cough? Oh, a couple of months now. Am I wrong, Elliot, or is that the kind of cough that needs a chest x-ray? Probably. It's the first time he's coughed. Oh, God, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make our next appointment kiss. Right now, I'm helping Dr. Schwartz. <gasps> You're a liar. <laughs> Man up and fire the one with the least pathetic story. Do you really think I know any of these people's stories? Well, let me fill you in. <laughs> Hank, four kids, trying to make it on a dishwasher salary. Next to him is Mike, lost half his leg in a motorcycle accident. And then there's Judy, been here. 30 year. Oh God, this is making me sad. 
Tell me who the last person hired was, would you please? Who made me happier than a kitten Penny. chasing a leaky cow? <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. I had to buy a ropey, don't I? You think? <laughs> the janitor. How was he even walking around with this? At worst, I thought maybe he had a bad case of bronchitis. Wait, what does he have? Mr. James, you have lung cancer. It was strange telling Mr. James he may only have a few weeks to live when just a few short hours ago we all thought he was fine. Aww. There are moments when we all wish life was more like a sitcom. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Well, the good news is I won't have to eat my wife's cooking anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, right, so here's a, yeah. JD's sitcom okay. fantasy? <laughs> Oh my god. How smart. Com fantasy is filmed in front of a live studio audience. JD's sitcom fantasy. <laughs> Explains Elliot's attire. It's weird. There's just so many things I never got to do in my life. Like go to a carnival or take a ride in a hot air balloon. We can do all that. I mean, he could get hurt. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Bruise one of his giant malignant tumors? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you're afraid of balloon rides. She have a little mole in JD's fantasy. I defy you to find one other thing that I'm afraid of. Up and down, up and down. <laughs> I love this. This is great. Yes, it's mopping time, my friend. And as you know, I always like to start in the exact spot you're standing. Let's get to work. You wanted to see me? Hell yeah, I wanted to see you. I wanted to tell you that I... I think you're doing a great job. Boy, that meatloaf today, was it was virtually hairless. I took off the gloves and it makes the hair a lot easier to pick out. Get out of here. <laughs> if we can cover his salary in the budget, that Kenny can stay. But where are we gonna come up with $26,372? <laughs> I'm really hoping that somebody sings. You appear to be a man who is utterly without talent, and less, of course, you want to count the fact that you are the 20th best basketball player in a predominantly white hospital. <laughs> Your only skill is illegal in 26 states. It's 27 Arkansas buckled. <laughs> Darla. What's, what's Jordan's skill? Unless all of you want to see me turn a two-syllable word into a six-syllable word. I re he 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 should keep looking. Newbie, I almost forgot about you. You know what? Save your breath. I'm about to get in a hot air balloon and get evil Knievel on my own ass. Are you humming the Let's All Go to the Movie song? Is that not our song? It's sung by Hot Dogs. <laughs> What's a story with steel wool? I mean, is it steel or is it wool? <laughs> Make up your mind, steel wool. Either start laughing or I start unplugging your machines. <laughs> okay, Perry, that's it. It's over. The only act left to see is you firing that guy. Wait, wait, wait. There's one more contestant. Oh, no. Is that Kenny? Hi. Oh, my God. Is he going to sing Stevie Wonder? Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? That's our song. Yeah, I know. I told him to sing it. <laughs> sure, sure. Isn't she pretty? That was excellent. Do, is this guy a singer? Should I know him? Uh, Turk and I are gonna go home and spend some time together. Some good time. <laughs> and by good time, she means bumping uglies. Bumping uglies. <laughs> All right. This chart isn't for Charles James. It's for James Charles. He's the one who has cancer, not you. It just seems like in the end, everything always works out. Because as long as uh, we... Uh, oh. Mr. James? 
Zapnik, we need an airway. Call anesthesia. Wait. Beckham. This isn't right. We're gonna intubate. Hang some dopamine. Why don't no. you? Where's anesthesia? Unfortunately, around here, things don't always end as neat and tidy as they do in sitcom. Problems don't always have easy solutions. Hey, Kenny, once again, I'm, I'm real sorry. Welcome to my world. Yeah. Imagine going home to my wife. Oh, <laughs> stop it. I really want to meet Enid. And at times like that, it's comforting to know there's always one thing that can pick your spirits up. Good sitcom. I thought that was a really good episode. It was really fun, um, and it was kind of refreshing to have something different in the structure of the episode so i have nothing but good things to say about that episode honestly i loved every second of it guys please do let me know if kenny is an actor that i should recognize because i do not at all but he was great to listen to and i would buy his album i'm just saying i thought it was a really good idea to have dr cox try and do what um, Dr. Kelso has to do like every day, like looking at budgetary stuff. I've worked in jobs where I've had to manage staff as well and work on, have people work under me and do all of that kind of stuff. Thankfully, I've never been in a position where I've had to fire anybody, but that, I don't envy anybody who has to do that. That is a shitty task. Kylie wasn't really in it that much, but I do think that I don't know if people generally compare their own relationships to other people's relationships, but I'm n I've never been somebody who has been like overly affectionate, I don't think. So, I mean, that's just me. <laughs> Making kissing appointments is a lot, personally, but whatever, <laughs> whatever makes you happy. Yeah, but then again, Kylie and JD are still a new couple, I guess, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get into episode 18, which is called My Roommates. As I felt the onslaught of what can only be described as a vicious tongue cramp, I decided it was time to let Kylie see my favorite dance. We all know where that ends. Oh. Gonna have to. You should go. Yeah, hit the bricks, bitch, you got no game. Lately, Turk and Carla had lost their sizzle. And then as a couple, when you reach a roadblock, you can do one of two things. Look inward and try and solve your problems together, or blame someone else. Tell him, Turk. You're all up in our space. When have I ever been all up in your space? This is nice. Sorry about the twos, you guys. Mm. For multiple reasons. A lovely evening. Well, we're all adults here, so I guess I'll just bid you guys adieu and gather my things quietly. I don't find bathing together romantic at all. Why do I have to keep teaching you the same stuff? I want to see you apply light pressure, small circles. Can we take a break? The sun is scorching. <laughs> What's his name? Lonnie? Out here for eight minutes. Whatever. Ah! <laughs> you saving up so you can finally get oh, those peckham plants replaced? Ron is coming to town today. I know somebody who looks exactly like him, and that's what he would look like when he gets sunburned. Oh, this whole competition thing that you have happening with your high school buddy, it is very, very boring. You know, like, you were the homecoming king, he was the prom king. You went to medical school, he went to business school. Ron's bringing his kid. I can't Ron. wait to meet the child. And when he pulls in here in his crappy rent-a-car and he gets one look at my hand-polished mm. Porsche, well, naturally, I'll have the lead. He has a Porsche? I didn't even notice what the car was. <laughs> this guy has been in so many shows and movies. It was crazy traffic, so I'm having my assistant drive my rental car over from the airport. That's... Well, it hardly seems worth it now, but what the hell? What are you driving these days? <laughs> Carla, I totally understand you guys need your space, but with work and my financial situation, finding a new place is going to be minimum two to four years. Come on. 
on, Bambi. Aren't there any other married couples that want to live in a small apartment with a 29-year-old man? She called me a man. Oh. <laughs> Turk, I've always had your back and you've always had mine. Are you sure you want to go through with this? It was oh my idea. Goodness. I banged your first girlfriend. Chantel? Now look. That scene just summed up everything that I said at the beginning of the episode, I think. Poor in pocket, but I'm rich in friends. Elliot, I need to crash at your place for a week. Nope. When God closes a window, he opens a door. Kylie? Trust me, this week is not gonna be about sex. Even though I think we both agree that's where we'd eventually like our relationship to end up, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you say? Fake Rowdy's still around. So look at you, Mr. Big Time Doctor. <laughs> How about you, Mr. Big Time <laughs> Me? Don't actually know what you do. <laughs> I told you a hundred times I run mergers and acquisitions for a large private equity hedge fund. You've forgotten already, no, haven't you? No, no, yes. you do hedge clippings for a big farm. <laughs> You'll be joining us for dinner? No way. Every time we go out, the whole night turns into a giant pissing contest. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Literally. Count it. You know, I've seen that dog around the neighborhood. I think we killed its spirit. Tonight, the kids can play and we can forget all about oh, this competition crap. I'd like that. So would I. So they're aware of their, um, like their, their peeing race me mentality. Did it on the couch. Uh -huh. Did it in the kitchen. Oh, yes, we did. Want to do it on JD's bed? I think it's about time someone did. <laughs> 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 what do we do now? You close your eyes. And I run either a toe or finger underneath your nose, and you try to guess which one it is, huh? Mm -mm. Fine, what do you want to do? Usually when JD gets off work, we gossip about hospital stuff. Baby, that sounds a little immature. Okay, then, you know, what the hell are we supposed to do? I love that he said that sounds immature, but he was talking about running his feet across her nose or her mouth, whatever it was. The Ta's not accustomed to receiving gentleman callers. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Oh, cool picture. I don't swim. So there's only one rule if you're gonna stay at El Casa de Todd. You got a hammock up. Oh, I don't, I don't have one of those. About a medium? Extra medium. This'll work. And it'll look good, too. All right, Jack, listen to me. Super secret go-to toy are your building blocks. Well, it's time to shine, Jackie Cox. It is time to shine. Earn Daddy's love on three. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, stop. Laverne told me that Nurse Tisdale is sleeping with that married albino radiologist. Oh, I feel so bad for his wife. Elliot, it's not about empathy. It's about judging people. <laughs> she just wants to gossip. Look, I already said I don't want to play that game, Turk. OK, you know what? I vote Elliot goes home. Space. Oh, why, because I don't want to dish about other people behind their backs or smell your toe? <laughs> we just have to accept Jack the way he is, love him unconditionally, and enroll him in some sort of block building class. Look at these things, Jordan. Yeah? Nathan has classic signs of autism. He barely speaks, and he freaked out when you tried to cuddle him. I mean, hell, if he was an adult, he'd be, well, you know, me? I think it's pretty obvious what we have to do. Never speak to Ron again. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe what I just heard. The tick-tocking of your biological clock leading you towards the corner of celibate and spinster way. Sometimes. <laughs> the facials. You know, it is our obligation as doctors to tell someone when there is a problem. And I will bring a child into this world when I am good and ready. Not when society dictates I must. Huh? Okay, girl. Hello? Anybody home? JD, we're right here. Tell them you want to come back. I just came by to get my toothbrush. We should ask him back. Baby, no. We're too proud. We are the proud Turks. <laughs> hey, guys. The heater's broken again. So I hear you're homeless. I want to volunteer, give you a place to stay. I don't think so, buddy. Listen, crash in my garage. I guarantee you there will not be another person in there. We don't have 
raccoons. I got plenty of options. Come on in. I've got a huge king bed. It'll be nice to have a buffer between me and my mom. <laughs> Does Doug Murphy live here? The pathologist? Yeah. Uh, no, he moved out. Excuse me, I gotta go change somebody's life. Okay. Do I know that person? Are we really doing this? Because I'll babysit the hell out of your oh, kid. bring it on, Daddy. Who needs a babysitter? I'll do it. You don't need to pay me in cash. Just pay me in hot showers. Newbie. I've got this one covered. Come on, you two are interracial best buddies. I, too, have a black best friend. Go out, enjoy it. Did you just call me black? Because the last time I checked, the correct term was African-American. Well, Turk lets me call him brown bear. Who the hell is Turk? I... <laughs> Angry black man. <laughs> it never disappoints. I pull it out when I need to. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, surely he's not offended being called black. It's not a bad word. Nathan, look at me. Nathan. Damn it. When now is he gonna finish fixing the heater? It's okay, he's a professional. I'm sure he's almost done. <laughs> this should not have been removed. <laughs> Thank you. It means a lot to me that you would go through all that just to respect my boundaries. Yeah, I can just sleep on the couch. You don't have to crash on the couch. Well, Dr. Doran, are you gonna join me? I couldn't have planned it better. JD! We want you back. I don't want to come home. It took me a month to get here from the couch. <laughs> Maybe you should go home. Get the moment back. Say something hot. Perhaps we could invite Turk and Carla to join us on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it, my dude. What's up? Ron, there is no easy way to do this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think Nathan is autistic. That's the real reason that I wanted to spend time with him today. This is... This is unbelievable. I mean, you can't handle the fact that my kid is better than your kid at building blocks, so you tell me there's something wrong with him? Why don't you just get the hell out of here, hmm? That's just not gonna happen. No way. I suspect this is an actual, like, you know, like this is probably a genuine reaction for most people, but just means they do things a little differently. You guys moved couch? Is it enough it's always nice to let your friends know that you appreciate them. You've always had I missed you, my African-American friend. <laughs> Call me Brown Bear. <laughs> That's a classmate of mine from medical school. He's located up in your area now. I think he'd really be able to help you. But sometimes you just can't quite find words to show that appreciation. You know, uh, I just want to say that uh, I'm going to handle this kid situation so much better than you ever could. <laughs> Still going with that peeing race. You know what? I probably would too. <laughs> it's enough to make uh -huh. you Interesting dynamic there, but I liked it. I owe you an apology, Turk. Splitsies? Of course. <laughs> Want some? Okay, fine, more for me. Yuck. You guys couldn't go one week alone with each other without needing Jay Dizzler around. What is up with that? You just have to hope that your honesty doesn't make them realize something. Mm. We're in trouble, aren't we? Yeah. Don't say I'm happy. They'll come good. That was a very, very good episode, you guys. That was probably one of the best episodes from this season so far. I think that the writing was really good. Everyone's storyline made sense. It wasn't boring at all. I laughed. Would I go so far as to say that that's probably my favorite episode of the season? Hop contender. 
And I don't even think it's because it was overly funny. It was just really well written and, and well structured. I was glad we got a little, uh, a little bit of Ted in there because we didn't see him in the last episode. So I'm always happy for that. Nothing but good things to say. Put me in a good mood for the rest of my day. So, I don't know too many people who have autism, but I do like, you know, I know that there's a spectrum. Um, so it's kind of different for everyone, but I don't know. It just means you have just, there's just a little bit of learning to do there, I think. I'm gonna leave it there, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the reaction, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for future Scrubs reactions and other videos that we'll be dropping along the way. I will see you lovely people in the next one. Peace.